It's a new week and we've got a new job. We are heading over to Shakespeare's country, Stratford-upon-Avon, where we're starting a new extension and remodel. So let's head over and I'll show you what we're gonna do. So this is our exciting new project. We're going to be working on this early 1900s house. It's going to be awesome. We're going to film the whole process as we like to do and bring you all the nitty gritty details as we go through it. So we're going to take you on a little walk around and show you exactly what's going to happen throughout the job. We're going to be installing a load of new soil pipes so we need new drainage. Our current main outlet is over there by that tree and what we're going to be doing as you can see we've excavated around here because so we're going to get in a new run which is going to run around the property and pick up all these new soil stacks. So we made a start on this yesterday before you were here, before you saw this behind the scenes. So let's go around the back of the property and see where the extension is going to be. So our pipe run is going to continue up here. An ensuite will go up there. So we need another soil pipe down here to another inspection chamber. This inspection chamber here will be renewed and then we'll run across and we'll pick up a load of stuff from the extension. This is the area in which the extension will be. You can see here they've already got a small outhouse which probably would have been a coal house or something like that maybe. But what we're going to do, we're going to take this down and we're actually going to save the bricks of this. So a really nice brick and obviously this was built at the same time as the house. So we're going to reuse these bricks in the extension just to make sure it keys in nicely and it looks the part. So. We've got a couple of guys coming soon and they're going to help take this down and we're going to have to take it down carefully brick by brick. You know we like to just sort of get things demolished quickly because obviously it's progress but this one is going to have to be taken down carefully. It's all lime mortar apart from you can see here somebody's pointed that in with a bit of cement so everything should come down nice and easy we'll be able to save as many of these bricks as possible to reuse. So this was the kitchen as you can see but what we're going to do is take this wall out here, knock that through and then when our extension comes across this will then become a larger kitchen. You can see it on the plan here we are currently in the existing kitchen area here so the wall will be taken out which is over there and then we're going to move through to give them a bigger kitchen. There's also going to be a lantern in the ceiling as well to give loads of natural light into the property. If we go through this way I'll show you what else is happening. So what's going to happen is this wall here is going to be coming out and this whole area across here, this was a kind of a small utility and this was a bathroom. This is all going to be knocked through and is going to become a utility room. And then over here is going to be the plant room. So this will house the manifold for all the underfloor heating and the boiler and loads of other bits and bobs will go into this area here. So this will all just be moved out. There's going to be a lot of remodeling going on in here. We're also taking this whole floor out and this will all be underfloor heating throughout. So there's going to be a lot of excavation work going on in the ground just to make sure we can get all the pipe work in and then it'll be re-screeded over the top. And then there's going to be a wooden floor which is going to go over the top of that. Let's go and have a look upstairs and we can show you what's going on up there. First of all, we've got this awesome oak staircase which is really nice. There are a few null posts that need repairing but apart from that, this is going to stay as it is. So we're going to protect that nicely and keep it all safe. So in here, this is a bedroom currently, and this is gonna be converted into a large bathroom with shower, sink, all the usual mod cons that you'd expect in a bathroom. In this room here, we're gonna be installing an ensuite bathroom, which will come approximately up to the edge of the fireplace, be about so big, just with a shower and a basin in here and a toilet, so that's gonna be really good. The room isn't a fair size, so that's not gonna to be too intrusive on the room at all. And then over here, you can see there's currently a toilet and a bathroom over there. That is going to be converted into just one whole bathroom. This will basically be a corridor that comes through to here. And then the door will go that way into this bathroom in there. There is a little bit of work going on upstairs as well. You can see around the loft hatch, they've had a loft ladder put in. We're going to get there and put some insulation in there as well, get that all nice and warm. So we're back outside now and I'm just showing you our little compound area. We're very fortunate on this job that the client does have a rather large garden. And this area here was pretty much a bit of a wasteland. They hadn't done anything with it yet. So what we're going to do, we're going to get ourselves a nice storage container, which is going to go here. And above that, there is then going to be a nice little canteen area for us to stay warm and dry. Even though it's coming to summer, we still need somewhere nice to sit on our breaks. We've also got an area over here, which we're basically going to be putting all the spoils, everything that we dig out, all the rubble from when we're doing our excavations. We're going to go over here so we can easily get a grab lorry in, get rid of all that nicely. We're also going to get our skip over here. And you can see we've got a nice little storage area going on so we can get all our twin bags of material dropped off. We can use our digger to move stuff around everywhere as and when we need it. 
really nice to be able to get set up like this. It just makes our life a lot easier. Rather than just getting materials a little bit at a time, we can get ball corders here, get them sat here ready. So as soon as we need them, we've got them straight away, which is always awesome because there's nothing worse than driving backwards and forwards to the merchants all the time. Time is money and all that, and obviously it makes it quicker for the client, so we like it, we like it. That's about it really. We've had a look around the whole job. It's gonna be awesome. We're all looking forward to it. Something nice and new to get our teeth in, and we're in the lovely town of Stratford-on-Avon as well. So, let's get on with it. Good morning, guys. It's a new week, and it's a new job. You've already seen the intro, so you know what we're doing on this job, so I'm not gonna go through all that, but today we're starting on drainage. Hi Pete. Morning, how are you Hi. Doing, so Pete is currently going to be a tree surgeon and remove this little tree here. We've established that C means cut uh, and not Bring cut for keep. It yeah, is yeah. cut for cut. <laughs> we just wanted to make sure of that. We're basically just clearing the land here and we're just going to work our way methodically back round, get all this stuff connected because we've got Phil and Mark who you, you seldom see on camera but they will be on camera. If you're watching this already Phil and Mark, welcome to the channel. You're going to be on it soon. They're going to be doing some bathrooms upstairs, so we need to make sure we've got all our drainage in ready for them to rock and roll. So we're just going to get all this done first, and then we can start with the demolition at the back of the property. So Joe's back with the tap bar. I'm going to start to speak really loud, so I'm going to shut, get some time lapses on, so you can watch us work and you can watch Pete cut down this tree with his bow saw. Yes. Hi, Joe. Right, so we've been making good progress getting through here. You can see our clay pipe is here and that is running off up that way, right over there to an inspection chamber, which is down there somewhere. So what we're gonna do, so the client can continue using everything while we're digging all this out, we are gonna connect onto here with a Y piece. This will still be in action. And then our new piece, our new plastic pipe work will come up this way then and run straight down here. So we can leave this all in situ and we can continue with our excavations around the garden getting all the new inspection chambers in where we need them and then yeah everything will still be working fine then we can just do one switch over at our main point over there which will take probably I don't know, a couple of hours and then that's it then so this is the way to do it so you can see we have had to go down quite a distance it's about 1400 down there so it's pretty far and then we've had some big roots to get around we've had to do a bit of mining underneath there and under here as well and there was this little route that's going across here which we saw and then we realized oh actually that's a that's a water main so that wasn't a route so luckily i didn't go through that i've, I've scraped it a little bit but i managed to negotiate around it probably more luck than judgment i'm not gonna lie but you know we made it it's fine <sighs> could have been a bit dodgy for a monday morning we don't want that we wouldn't want it to go through that water pipe would we go no no say monday not any day doesn't matter if it's a Monday. It normally happens on a Friday afternoon. That's normally what happens. So right, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna carry on digging through to about where the digger is. And then there's gonna be basically an inspection chamber there. And then we're gonna run straight across to there, down by where the tap barrows are. It's, but another one will be there, which will join onto the front of the house. There's gonna be a bathroom there. And then there's gonna be a straight run, which will come up to this point over here. And then there's going to be another bathroom up there, another en suite. So there's going to be a soil pipe that runs down. So we'll go to that and then straight up there to the new, well, the existing inspection chamber, which will be renewed. And then we can run off to the new extension as well. So we've got plenty of digging to do. It's pretty deep, so there's a lot to come out. So I need to stop talking now and get on with it. So that's the first day done. Pretty much smashed it today. We've got all the way through there done and to here it has been hard digging there's been a lot of tough spots and obviously we've got to get around roots and whatever uh, so it has been a bit of a mission but tomorrow hopefully we will get down there get this chamber in we can start doing some connections and actually getting some point work in and getting these backfilled so we don't want to have too much area exposed we want to try and just do sections get it backfilled and then we can move on and then it's all nice and safe for everybody so we're going home now and we'll be back tomorrow so it's day two on our job and we're carrying on with the drainage Pete's in the digger hi Pete 
and then we're going to start getting this section of drainage in and then we can get this backfill down and then we had a little incident with our attack barrier yesterday another track's come off it wasn't anybody's it, fault you know, no no it, uh, it definitely was somebody else's fault yeah yeah it's a bit of a people with job just to get them tension drawn look at pete's face now Yay! <laughs> <laughs> last thing I want to do is go through mains electric. I'd rather go through water any day than go through a mains electric cable because that bucket would be bye-bye. <laughs> 